My name is Heather. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. And I grew up raised on the Everly Brothers, all these great acts. And my first rock concert ever when I was 11 years old was AHA. And so I see these changes throughout the music industry, you know, throughout the years and whatnot. And I'm, to me, I see a decline in talent. And because, uh, as other people are saying, there's nothing like AHA, there is nothing like the Everly Brothers. I mean, I was so honored to be able to meet Mr. Everly on several occasions and was so saddened by his passing. But what is your professional opinion on the state of the music industry, on whether you think the talent is maybe declining, or because I see something through the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, and even 90s that I'm not seeing anymore when I listen to the radio. I understand the change. Very good comment. Very good question. I have to on that. In the, what I call the younger days, there was more space for people to be creative, for songwriters to write, to experiment. Also, in the 50s, 60s, 70s, record companies, when they signed an act that they believed in, they were quite happy. Like, if you take Prince, Prince made five or six hours before it happened. So the record companies would be supportive of developing the talent they bought. Now the problem we have today, in my view, is two parts. They sign, groups are signed to a record company. They don't even get a chance to make an album on the whole. The first single doesn't make it, they're gone. Next please, next please. So it's, it's, I don't like the way the business is today necessarily because great talent is lost because it's not given the opportunity to develop and grow because the local companies won't waste, they just don't want to give the time and they don't want to give the money. I think you understand what I'm saying. And especially what you said. But, but what I say, what I would say, the tragedy that is really happening is because the way the the world is today and the music is and the speed that it operates and the greed. There is fantastic talent out there that will never make it. Will never make it. And that breaks my heart. I travel the world quite a bit even today. I go to different countries, three or four or five different countries a year. I can be in a bar or some a bar, you know, some of us are music playing and I see the most wonderful talent and I know it will never ever make it. They're never going to get in a record company. If they did, they wouldn't understand it. It's very sad, but that's the world we live in. I mean, I'm sure that's quite obvious to everybody. You know, I hope it is anyway. But do you understand what I was saying? Yeah. Jane, it's a must-developed town. If town can't be developed, then they're going to happen. 